Hello everyone, this is Mabel Trazona, and for today, we will be having another educational vlog. And if you want to learn more about my discussion, let's get started and just keep on watching. The marker of being Filipino is not only defined through citizenship and physical characteristics, but it also includes culture and history that have greatly influenced the manner Filipinos learn, live, and behave to their respective settings. Personality, values, and traits are passed from generations to generations. And as part of this, for today's lesson, I will discuss about the Filipino traits and characteristics. To start with, let us have first the positive traits. The first positive traits of Filipinos is faith in God. We have different religions in our country. We also have consistency in one strong form of faith. Filipinos are known to be religious people. Though there are a lot of religion exists, similarly, we believe that there is God. We celebrate fiestas every year as honor to our Almighty Father and Saints. We also attend to processions and visited churches every Sunday together with the family. Despite of any challenges we experience, we always put God as the center of our lives. Second, Close family ties. We enjoy the feeling of having family around us. We also share homes, celebrations, and lend hand to relatives. Filipinos' love of family is infinite. We maintain strong relationship to each other. Every year, we celebrate various occasions like Christmas, New Year, and other. These celebrations made us united and give us chance to meet other relatives. Some of the families are living in one roof. Unlike in our country, we personally took care of our elders rather than sending them to nursing homes. Third is welcoming the visitors. We are known as hospitable to our visitors. We also welcome them with smile, conversation, and food. We welcome our guests and tourists as our own family members. We're in making sure that the guest is feel at home through giving them locally delicious foods and a place to stay as well. This is the time for us to bring out the best materials at home in order for the guests to be much comfortable of their stay. Another situation that shows hospitality is during fiestas, wherein we invite people from other places and give tokens when they leave. The next trait is obedient and dutiful. We respect and follow advice from adults. And not talking back and trusting them is important because this is part of who we are. In our culture, we are taught obedience by our elders, particularly in setting at home and performing our duties and responsibilities as a member of the family. They always give us advice for the betterment of ourselves, our future, and to other people as well. The next positive trait is respectful. We respect adults through mano, saying po and opo. When we were kids, we are taught to be respectful, especially to our elders, through saying these words that are part of who we are and how we respect the people. Our elders also believe that if we forget to say these words, we are considered as impolite or disrespectful. Another positive trait we have is helpful. We are expected to help out in-house and offer help to others. And also, the Bayanian spirit is always present in us. Our spirit of communal unity and cooperation is Bayanian. Helping is about willingness to offer assistance without expecting something in return. Filipinos are ready to help one another, especially in times of natural calamities, and other difficulties in life through giving assistance, relief goods, and other needs of affected people. Filipinos are also diligent and patient. Majority of livelihood here in the Philippines is based on agriculture. Taking care of plants requires more patience. It has been said that a typical Filipino is hardworking. Yes, definitely correct. Example of this are farmers. Farming is not an easy task because it requires more hard work and patience as well. 
Farmers work hard all day in carrying agricultural crops, despite of the weather condition they have encountered. Because of them, we are able to survive and sustain our daily needs. Next, resourceful and creative. We find ingenious ways to solve our problems. Filipinos are highly creative in improvising and recycling things to put into good use. We always find ways to cope up through using our creativity in various circumstances when we don't have means to accomplish anything. Cheerful Filipinos have learned not to be depressed and we find jokes especially in difficult times. We experience a lot of trials every year like typhoon and the pandemic nowadays. But still, it is our habit of smiling and laughing that gives us hope. For we believe that smiling is the best remedy to cope up everything we have been. We always try to maintain positivity in life. Whatever happens, life must go on. And thus makes us able to manage everything. Another positive trait we have is being thrifty and frugal. We are careful of what we have and we think for the future needs. Thrifty is about using money and resources carefully. On the other hand, frugal is being one that is simple and plain and costing little. This is one of the positive traits where we value things that is more important than our wants. Parents sacrifice their stuff in order to provide the needs of their children. At this point, let's proceed to the negative traits. The first negative trait of Filipinos is Ningas Kugun. Ningas is a term for flame and Kugun is a Filipino term for grass that quickly burns out after put into flames. This is a Filipino attitude of starting things with eagerness but loses concern and excitement when experience hardships and don't tend to finish long-term goals that leads to losing hope and giving up instead of finding ways to cope up those challenges. Second is maniana habit, that is putting off doing things until it is too late. Example, fixing what needs to be fixed on saving money for future. This is a Filipino term for procrastination, means mamayana or doubling things by always giving reasons to delay the works. It is a poor habit of laziness that results to heavier workloads in the future. Third is crab mentality. Get jealous of other people's success and pull down others than striving to be better. This is one of the most toxic traits of Filipinos where one reason the triumph or achievements of other person that tend to pull each other down and ruin each other's reputation. Filipinos should change this negative attitude and try to be more focused on progress of oneself. The fourth one is colonial mentality, the habit of looking for foreign branded goods and buy products more than are locally made. This is common to all of us. As we can see in our generation nowadays, a lot of innovation exists particularly in foreign countries, wherein we Filipinos are following the current trends worldwide. One of these is the way we treat foreign products which is branded than patronizing our own local creations. Through this, we think that branded products are better than our locally made and will give us satisfaction. The fifth negative trait of Filipino is Bahalana. Bahalana is originated from the word Bathalana, where Bathala means God. This is a Filipino version of the phrase Hakuna Matata means no worries. When we are hopeless, we tend not to act to solve our problems. We don't plan ahead contingencies and we simply let fates dictate future happenings. This attitude of Filipino is living into God's hands instead of worrying on certain situations. Another negative trait is sore losers. Filipinos are very competitive and hate losing. Find ways to get even when lose. This is a trait where they complain, becomes upset, or otherwise reacts very negatively when they fail or lose at something competitive. Instead of congratulating the other teams who are winners, they choose to ignore them. 
The last negative trait is lack of discipline. Filipinos tend to ignore traffic rules and laws and throw garbage in wrong places. We are taught to have discipline but it is not applied by every one of us because even just a simple traffic rules are being violated. Aside from that, the pollution we experience nowadays became worse due to an ending and improper garbage disposal that leads to different natural disasters and calamities that we have suffered. That is all for today. I hope you have learned a lot on the positive and negative traits and characteristics of Filipinos. Thank you and God bless everyone.